Hey there, this is James Converse, Chief Solutions Architect for ZBrains.net, Zoho CRM Certified Consultant, and Zoho Creator Certified Developer. Here today to talk to you about QuickBooks Desktop Integration. Uh, it's important to know before we get started that Zoho Corporation has discontinued their QuickBooks Desktop Integration, and eventually they will deprecate that. So uh, we built our QuickBooks Desktop Integration a couple of years ago when we noticed that Zoho had uh, connected contacts to customers in uh, QuickBooks. So that didn't make a whole lot of sense to us because we're business to business. So we would want to connect accounts to customers. We've had this for a couple of years. Uh, it really didn't uh, do so well because Zoho had their own integration. But uh, since they've discontinued it, it's been uh, uh, you know go, going pretty well. So, all right, how this works is we're actually using webhooks in the setup menu of Zoho. So I'm going to hit setup and go to automation here. And uh, I have uh, my webhooks for the uh, automation area. What webhooks do is they send information to uh, other URLs. Okay. And in my case, uh, I'm, I'm sending uh, information to my web server, services.agilityintegrations.com. Agility Integrations is our uh, integration site. And I can do that on different rules here in uh, Zoho. So in my case, I'm going to do it on create. I have a bunch of different rules here, but here's on create of an invoice. I'm going to uh, trigger this webhook to be sent, which has my invoice data. And uh, what happens on our web server is we decide, geez, is that a new record? Is it an existing record? When's the last time it was uh, uh, synced with uh, QuickBooks Desktop? All of, all of those different things there. We're mapping data. Uh, we're hard coding or transforming data. Uh, so we're doing different things on our web server. That's customized for each uh, implementation of the integration. Now, in my case, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, create a new one. And when I do that, I'm, I'm just going to clone here so I don't have to type the whole thing in. And I'm going to hit save. It's telling me I'm out of stock in my demo environment here. Uh, so I did that. And so it made a new record there in Enzo CRM. Now I'm going to jump to my QuickBooks desktop, which I have hosted uh, up on Amazon. Now we're using the QuickBooks Web Connector, uh, which is an Intuit tool for uh, getting data in and out of QuickBooks desktop. And I can see here that I have this particular setting. Um, I can set it to auto run every X number of minutes. One minute should be fine. Um, or I can decide geez, maybe I want to uh, update it manually. So I would check the box here and then hit update, which is what I'm going to do in this case uh, for this demo. It's important to note, though, that the, uh, the web connector has to be uh, run as an application. It can't be run as a service, which means someone needs to be logged into Windows. Even if the, someone, you know, someone logs in and just locks the screen, like on your server, um, or, or you log into remote and then just disconnect. You can't log off because when you log off, applications get closed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit update here, and it's going to run. It's probably going to sync more than my one invoice there. Um, but what it's doing is it's pulling information from the web server and putting it in QuickBooks Desktop now. So it's done. Uh, if I haven't done the sync for a while, that obviously it's going to take a little bit longer. And I should see information. I'm not just seeing invoices here. I'm seeing customers uh, in my QuickBooks desktop. Now, from coming from the other direction, uh, QuickBooks desktop doesn't have webhooks. So we have to rely on the web connector here to uh, sync or pull information from QuickBooks desktop and push it back up to our web server. So I probably do want to have uh, it syncing every one minute. Our web server will catch that information. And if we decide, hey, nothing's changed since the last sync, we're not going to do anything inside of your Zoho CRM system. And the reason for that is because we want to minimize the number of uh, uh, API calls in Zoho CRM. Uh, you're limited to 500 per day per user. And many of those you can batch, such as accounts and contacts. You can batch those in 100 or 200 uh, uh, batch inter uh, intervals. It's called pagination. But with transactional type documents like quotes, sales orders, and invoices, you can't. It's one document or one transaction per API call. So you want to minimize those as much as possible 
unless you just happen to have a ton of users and not a whole lot of data. Uh, the, the different modules here we're syncing with Zoho's CRM are accounts uh, or contacts. If you, if you are B2C, we're syncing quotes, sales orders, invoices, purchase orders, and vendors, uh, as well as products, because you have to have uh, products to uh, have a quote, sales order, or invoice. We can do two-way integration, though most companies don't need that because they decide that at least for transactional information like an invoice, they're going to they're gonna decide which system that they're going to sync with, uh, that, that they're going to enter that information in, right? They're not going to enter it in both. Now, for accounts or contacts or even products, those you do want to have a two-way sync on uh, because it, like an, if an address changes or something like that, you don't want to have to update the other system. So those you do want a true two-way integration, which means we're maintaining the sync state. Uh, what we're not doing at this point is uh, price books uh, or leads because leads really don't have a home in, in QuickBooks or campaigns also doesn't have a home in QuickBooks. Uh, what we're adding very soon is a payments integration with QuickBooks, uh, though it doesn't have a home inside of Zoho CRM, we've created a custom module for that. So you will need to be on Zoho CRM Enterprise if you want to take advantage of it. But that's so you can enter a payment in Zoho CRM and have it show up in QuickBooks or vice versa. Uh, that concludes the uh, short demo today. If you have any uh, questions, please feel free to reach out to us at solutions at zbrains.net. Thanks so much for coming.